In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to edit this envelope template using Cordial. If you'd like to follow along, you can access the demo link in the description. This template is for an A7 envelope, which fits your standard 5x7 card. I have it set up to include two pages. The first is for your return address on the envelope flap, and the second is the front of the envelope for your recipient addresses. Before we get started, I just want to highlight a few of the editing capabilities in this program. This template has already been styled for your convenience, but you are able to make some significant changes if you'd like. To do that, I'm just going to select my text, and on the right side, I'll see the option to make some adjustments if I'd like to. For example, I can change the font style by selecting another one. I can make the text bigger or smaller as needed. You can also click and drag to move text around. I can also change the font color. This one is now set to a dark navy, but let's say I'd prefer more of a dusty blue. That's also an option. Or black. A few other options are to adjust the spacing between the letters. You can see that I've already added quite some spacing here, but if you want to take that down, you can do that or even add more. And the option next to it is to adjust the line height, which is just how much spacing is there between each line. So I can have less or I can have a lot, and that's up to you. You can also adjust whether the text is flushed left or flushed right, but of course, most likely you'll want to keep this centered. So once you have the look that you want, you're ready to start adding in your addresses. I want to keep the original layout, so I'm just going to delete this duplicate page and go back to my original. Now that you're ready to start adding in your addresses, you can use this template to create multiple pages for as many envelopes as you need and just edit as you go. So I'm just going to select the name and start typing. Once I've edited one page, I just need to click the Duplicate button and duplicate that page. So let's edit another one. Now, once I've added in all my addresses, I'm ready to save and download this as a PDF document. When you're ready to save your PDF, just click on Download. This will prompt you to select the format that you need. You can choose a PDF, a JPEG, or a PNG file. In this case, I'm going to need a PDF. Click Next. This will open up a dialog box with various options. Because this template has already been properly sized for an A7 envelope, it's important that under Paper Size, you select Design Default Size. This will give you the correct size for printing directly on your envelopes. I don't need any bleed or trim marks, so I'll leave those unchecked. I also can uncheck Print Multiples per Page. If you want to preview all of your addresses, you can do so here using the arrows. Keep in mind that the first page is the envelope flap with your return address, which would be printed on all the envelopes. And the pages that follow would be the recipient addresses for each envelope. Now just click on Download PDF. Okay, we're ready to get these printed. I've opened up my PDF and I'm going to hit Command P or this might be Control P or just File Print on your computer. This will open up the dialog box where I'm going to change a few settings. 
First of all, I want to select my printer. And I recommend starting with the return addresses on the envelope flaps. So I'm going to select just the first page for now. That way, once I get this set and I know that it's printing correctly, I can just run the whole batch of envelopes through. I also, instead of fit or any of these other settings, I want to be sure that it's set to 100%. This may appear as no scaling on your computer. And I'm going to check the page setup because it's really important that you choose the correct paper size. Now I've already selected this. It should be 7.25 by 5.25 inches for an A7 envelope, but it may be on another setting, a uh, letter page or an A4 by default, so you'll need to go in <clears throat> and change that. And if you don't see this particular size, you should have an option to add a custom size. I'm going to click OK. And I'm also going to check the quality and media. Um, plain paper is fine. I have it set to high quality. You could probably also try it standard, but you want these to look nice, so I choose high quality and print. Now, it's important that you consider that your printer may be different than mine, so you may want to run a few test prints and try out the, the settings until you get that right. Um, you can even do this on plain paper if you want to spare your envelopes. Before you place your envelopes in the printer feed, I recommend tucking in the flaps if possible and going over the edges with a bone folder. You could also use a ruler or even your fingernail. What's important is that you push down and smooth out those edges as much as possible to avoid them getting jammed in your printer. I discuss this more fully on my website with a few step-by-step -step photos of how to place the envelopes in your feed. So check that out using the link in the description of this video. Thanks so much for following along. If you have any questions or tips to add, feel free to leave those in the comments. Have a lovely day!